Welcome to my channel. So one more problem from electrostatics. Here there are two spheres, uh, metal spheres are given and each one has a charge of Q1, Q2 and they are having a radius R1, R2 before contact. Let us read the problem. The two metallic spheres of radii are 1 cm and 3 cm are given charges of minus 1 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb and 5 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb respectively. If they are connected by a conducting wire, the final charge on the bigger sphere is option A, option B, option C and option D. So we have to find which, which one of these four is correct. So let us go before contact. So before contact, what is the total charge on this uh, system, it is Q1 plus Q2, that is equal to minus 1 into 10 power minus 2 plus 5 into 10 power minus 2. Totally, the charge will be equal to 4 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb. So, we need this for further reference. Let us have it in separately. So, let us go to find what is the potential of sphere 1. It is given by a formula V1 equals K times Q1 by R1. Similarly, the potential of sphere 2 equals V2 equals k times 1 by 4 pi epsilon r q 2 by r 2. Now, let us have the same system. Now, we have to work with what happens after the contact. So, let us connect the two spheres by a metallic wire so that the potential becomes same. The first sphere and sphere second spheres uh, forms the equipotential surface, right? So, q1 prime and q2 prime are now the new charges on the spheres 1 and 2. Right? Let us now find uh, what is uh, the value of V1 equal to V2. Because uh, we connected the two spheres by a wire so that their potential become equal. V1 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught with the new charge Q1 prime by R1 equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 prime that is the new charge by R2. So, let us go further with the equation. The 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught are getting cancer. So, we left with Q1 prime by R1 equals Q2 prime by R2. Let us substitute the value of R1, R2, what is given in the problem. So, Q1 prime by 1 into 10 power minus 2. So, there is a mistake over here. That is not... Uh, this is not equals, this is minus. This is not equal, minus. Anyhow, this 10 power minus 2 and this 10 power minus 2 get cancelled and we have to do the cross multiplying, right? After doing the cross multiplying, we get Q2 prime equals 3 times Q1. So, we need this particular relation for further reference. We will keep it, okay, near the diagram. So, we will go for the principle of this particular problem. The principle is according to law of conservation of charge. All right, the total charge before contact equals the total charge after contact. So, the total charge before contact is Q1 plus Q2. The total charge after contact is Q1 prime plus Q2 prime. So, this is what the principle Q1 plus Q2 equals Q1 prime plus Q2 prime. So, let us substitute Q1 plus Q2 equal to 4 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb equals Q1 prime. So, we have learned that we have, we have, we have, we have derived that Q2 prime equal to 3 times Q1, we substitute that. So, on the right hand side, we have 4 times Q1, right? So, 4 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb equal to 4 times Q1 prime. Good. So, the 4, 4 cancels. So, Q1 prime we found as 1 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb. So, Q2 prime will be 3 times Q1. So, that will be equal to 3 into Q2 prime equal to 3 into 10 power minus 2 coulomb. So, the final answer is option A, Q, option A, 3 times, this 3 multiplies 10 power minus 2 coulomb. So, let us go for one more step here, the note, the surface charge density, right, uh, Q by area, the charge available in unit area is called as surface charge density. So, here there are two sphere, Right, the first sphere has a charge density of sigma 1. The second one is having the surface charge density of sigma 2. So, let us find what is the new charge Q1 prime in the smallest sphere. That will be equal to 4 pi R1 square sigma 1. And in the second sphere, it is Q2 prime. That will be equal to 4 pi R2 square into sigma 2. 
right we'll let us substitute this in the formula uh, q1 prime by q2 sir q1 prime by r1 equals q2 prime by r2 this is what, what we get it after equating v1 equal to v2 so we substitute q1 prime and q2 prime in this formula and uh, uh, we get right sigma 1 r1 equals sigma 2 r2 so the general formula is sigma r equals constant so when sigma is more r is less when sigma is less r is more so they are inversely proportional thus the surface charge density sigma is inversely proportional to the radius of the sphere so what did we conclude from here for a smaller radius the charge density will be larger and vice versa so the conclusion is the smaller sphere right has larger surface charge density but holds less amount of charge right my channel children thank you